What up guys, before we begin, tap that subscribe button below nice and gently so you don't catch any of the serving viruses discussed here in this video. I'm, I'm sorry, did that serve bounce? With Sheriff server, we're going to look at three concepts that actually might be infecting your server without you even realizing. I know they were infecting mine until I learned to be very consistent. Sharapova serving syndrome. What the heck is going on with that? See, like everyone, like everyone, every Tom, Dick, and Harry, every tennis coach around the world has something to say about the Sharapova serve, tries to fix this serve. What is going on with this? And, and actually, she has quite a good motion. But there are maybe, like she does maybe like 16 out of 20 things right, or 17 out of 20 things right. So it's a pro level serve for sure. There's maybe just a couple things here and there. At that level, it's like the one, two, three percenters that make a huge, huge difference when you're comparing it from one world-class serve to another world-class serve. All right, so let's look at some of the mechanics from my perspective, the concepts I teach, see how they align, see where I think you might poke a few uh, holes in the armor here. The first thing we're gonna look at with the Sharapova serve is the high ball toss, which everyone talks about, all right? So the thing with the high ball toss is it does a number of things. First of all, when you throw the ball really, really high, actually hers is probably five times higher, like that, accuracy goes down. Now, if you were to throw the ball like 30 feet in the air, well, obviously the ball is coming down with so much force, right, so much velocity downward, it's like how, and you're trying to either slice the ball or top spin the ball or hit the ball flat and it's coming straight down, you're just causing problems for yourself compared to Fed who will throw a, like a nice toss right there, right? And hit the ball at the peak when the ball isn't moving much. So it reduces error, okay? That's very basic. So, so that's, not, that's clearly not the, not the biggest factor holding, holding the serve back. The biggest factor holding your serve back when she tosses the ball high, and you really understand this for your serve, is when you throw the ball really high, well, you have to, you start up, you, so you start your motion, and then you stop, and then you have to start up your motion again, right? Like, it's like starting a cold lawnmower, right? Instead of building your momentum, even if you look at Sampras' serve, who had a slower timing and rhythm, Sampras' serve, it, 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 everything built up to, to, that, to that snap. Whereas Sharapova, Sharapova, she hangs, she hangs, she hangs, and then, and then she has to fire it up again. Very, very hard to create accuracy, consistency, power. So this is me with a slightly higher toss than I'm used to Sharapova style serve. You notice I have to wait for the ball, wait, and then hit. And I totally mistimed that. Obviously, look, it's fine to use this higher toss if that wasn't bad right there. Fine to use a higher toss if you have a slower setup to start, but see how I wait and then have to accelerate it again? At that point, I'm done. But I'm just having a hard time just timing this thing because it's coming down so fast. That was awful. Now this is a Federer style server where you already see, obviously I'm used to it, but the momentum, I have way more power, right? All the parts are moving continuously after the other, so that when I rushed it. Okay, but you're gonna see here, everything is in sync and I'm no longer waiting for that ball toss. As soon as I load, I explode. In slow-mo, right, there's no waiting with the legs. And as I rise with the legs, my upper body is already uncoiling and I keep the timing in sync. Right there, okay, and that's a pretty solid serve, especially for, you know, someone I don't really practice a whole lot these days anyways. But I'm able to keep a good rhythm and keep my serve in tune. So the next thing I've noticed about Sharapova's serve looking at the slow-mo is she hits the ball so far in the court sometimes. Now, look, 90% of the time you want to hit the ball more inside the court here, hit the ball in front of you, right? I get that, she's getting the shoulder behind the ball so you can snap. Pushing into the court with your legs for momentum, yada, yada, yada. That's all f fine and good, except when it becomes too extreme. Remember, there's always like bad on both ends of the spectrum. If you hit the ball behind you, obviously, if you hit the ball too far in front of you, that's terrible. You want it perfect right here. You want it perfect so you can engage your core strength and, and get the proper snap at that, at, 
you know, where your serve, you know, culminates that power and at the end, tip of the whip. What I see with Sharapova, she actually leans a little bit into the court like this. Just, it's so, it's so subtle, but she leans into the court. If you notice, she's reaching. Now, what happens when you reach? First thing that happens when you reach is, if you, if you look at like throwing a punch, if you watch boxing or any sport, like this is body mechanics 101. Once, if, if I punch a target right here, my core is engaged and I can push through that target and it's strong and it's firm. Once I reach like a little bit like this, this position of strength versus this, that's a big, big difference. Once you, you lean a little bit, complete disengagement with the core. And so in the slow-mo, you can see just a little, she'll sometimes, not on all serves, again, some serves she'll bomb, and it'll be huge. Some serves she just reaches just a slight touch, right, which causes that destabilization. So for a lot of you guys, if you have really strong legs, you can load it up and you can jump into the court here, so you can hit the ball in, in your power zone, that's okay. But if your legs aren't that strong, you should not be tossing the ball into the court. Fed does not toss the ball way into the court. Fed tosses maybe, you know, six inches, maybe a foot max, and look, that guy's pretty strong, right? That guy, and that guy has a pretty great serve. You do not want to get carried away tossing the ball too far into the court. Second of all, when you toss the ball too far into the court, uh, now how I cover this in the online accelerator program, so you might not get this if, if you don't understand this concept. When you reach for the ball here, like this, once you reach up too high, what, ha what happens to my wrist? So you're gonna see my wrist, when, it, when I reach and point, what happens, my wrist actually breaks. So if I reach up too far into the court, see how my wrist breaks like this, in instead of pronates, right? Once that wrist breaks like this, you lose stability. So just the fact that she's trying to hit it so high up, I mean, she's already, what, like six foot three, right, or something? But just those few little things that cause instability at the highest level, it will break down. Now, another thing with Sharapova's serve is her second serve. Well, okay, sure, you can bomb out on the first, miss a few, a few faults. Everyone does that. Even sometimes you see, you know, Federer, who's a very consistent server with a low first service percentage. But her second serve needs to be rock solid reliable. And the biggest thing with Sharapova's second serve is when she throws that ball far into the court right here, all she can do is snap down like, so watch this, all she can do is snap down. Now, what we know about the first serve, the first serve snaps down like this, it pronates down, you're hitting the ball straight down, like you're throwing like a spike, like in football, right? Like a, a, like a short little spike pass. But the second serve, unlike the first serve, actually lofts up. It's like, like, a, like the quarterback, you know, lofting the ball up high with a nice spiral that floats and drops. That's what a second serve is, okay? But because she hits the ball so far in front of her and she's reaching, all she can do is snap the ball here. If she got the ball more above her, then she could hit the ball where it has an upward trajectory before it comes down. You see these serves just like miss these second serves are like missiles that go into the court. You can't, it, you can't think of it being a missile, you have to think of it being like a lob that lofts up and, and then drops. Again, you're still hitting it hard enough and with a lot of spin, etc. So as weight and force behind it. But you cannot, but you have to make that clear distinction. And that's why you see her first serve looking very, very much like her second serve and vice versa. So what do you have to understand as you know, a player like you and me trying to get these concepts, right? Hitting the ball in your power zone, not breaking your wrist, right? Keeping your, mo your momentum fluid and gradually building the momentum to the snap, right? Not having to stop and, st and start up again. These are very important concepts. Just practice these on your serve and make a big, big difference. You do not, you do not want to go from match to match thinking in the back of your mind about seven double faults, 13 double faults, 20 double faults, God knows how many, all right? You want to go into your match knowing you have a solid, reliable serve. <laughs> So thanks for watching. I know it sounds like I'm being harsh on Maria Sharapova. Um, she's actually an unbelievable player. I admire her in so many ways. And she's one of the mentally toughest players I think I've ever seen and does so many other things well. If she had an amazing serve also, who knows, right? Now, 
I've struggled with my server bunch and I know I cover a lot more of these concepts in my online program. I hope to see you there. Like and subscribe for any of the following videos. This won't be the last video I release on the serve or other techniques. So before you hit the courts and can grab your racket and start working on this, I want you to comment below really briefly which of these sticking points might have been infecting your serve a little bit, whether it's getting the ball toss right, the second serve trajectory right, or reaching in the court too much. So write down below what you think might be holding your serve back, or include any other thoughts. I'd love to get your perspective on the Sharapova serve. So I can't wait, and I'll see you on the next video.